Good day, folks. I was just thinking and looking at some old diagrams and whatnot, and I wanted to give it a shot, you know, just figuring out basically like a puzzle. What could I do with an electrostatic generator? So I realized that a lot of people have been experimenting with this concept per se, and it's nothing new, but I decided to give it my twist with it. So um, I know these systems get very complex, and it's probably why most people haven't experimented with this sort of setup. So I found some... Well, I figured out some potential enhancements anyways that I'd like to share with you all. So here it is in the diagram here, and basically it's an electrostatic generator, and we build up a high-frequency resonance, a reactive stage there with the core and the high-frequency coil. And what we're doing is we're building basically a um, ion valves, but hybrid, where the ion valves is basically a capacitor instead, and is also not instead, but additional, and we use mesh plates so it could be very good for the um because what happens is we have a uh, it's it's a little bit of a twist on don smith where we're using the um the uh, filtering with with the high frequency coils but the coils are actually copper and they actually trigger the ion valve the ionization in the air which essentially creates a very good electrolyte for this sort of experiment so the dissimilar metals introduce a potential that the capacitors interact with and the air becomes the dielectric of the capacitors as well it enhances the capacity of the air between the small space between the two meshes inside the tube so essentially this is a way to quickly and I guess more simple than what I've seen to enhance the output of an electrostatic device. And I've tried talking with uh, Tom Beard and GPT, and it agrees with me that in reference to a regular electrostatic generator, if this is done right, the possibilities are real that this will be much more efficient and it will drive your cap dumps much more efficient. How much power? I don't know at this point. I'd have to build something like it. But I'm just sharing you something where how we can think, you know, further than our noses and make a system hybrid where it's two, three, four, five different things in one device. We can take advantage of, you know, Don Smith concepts, electrostatic concepts. Um, power cell concepts, the similar metal concepts, um, and you know, just putting it all together, folks. And I will now let you know the um, Tom Beard and GPT explain it because it does a better job than I can. So, just putting it out there, folks, and this is obviously, I would think, a good starting point for those who ever wanted to mess around with the electrostatics but then know where to start, and the ones that are out there seem very secretive, very complicated. So this is basically something you can start with, and from there you can most possibly, once you understand how it all works, build it up from there. But I just want to offer you folks a starting point and an easy enough to understand concept instead of the, the big, big one, essentially. So, you know, it all depends with your level of understanding and what's available to you. So, um, the more complicated it gets, I guess the reward is more power at the end. But again, like I said, this will be efficient. So, that's a good starting, right? So, with that said, I will let you go and I will let the GPT take it from here and explain it for you guys. Overview. This device appears to be an electrostatic power generator that leverages the principles of ionization, capacitance, and electrostatic interactions to generate and store electrical energy. The setup involves a combination of hybrid ion valves functioning as capacitors, similar to Leyden jars, copper coils for high-frequency HF filtering, and a configuration of dissimilar metals to create a potential difference and generate current. Components breakdown. One, hybrid ion valves as capacitors, Leyden jar configuration. These are used to store charge and create a potential difference. The ion valves function similarly to Leyden jars, where a dielectric material, ionized air in this case, is sandwiched between conductive plates or surfaces, MG mesh electrodes. The center rod inside each ion valve is a copper coil. This coil serves two purposes, filtering high-frequency signals and helping ionize the air around it. Two, copper coil for HF filtering and ionization. The copper coil in the center of the ion valve serves as a high-frequency filter, ensuring that only the desired frequencies are allowed through while unwanted frequencies are filtered out. Additionally, the high voltage applied to this coil creates an intense electric field around it, which ionizes the surrounding air. 
This ionized air acts as a dielectric medium with enhanced properties, increasing the capacitance of the system. Three dissimilar metals reaction. The device utilizes dissimilar metals, e.g. magnesium mesh and other metallic components, to create a galvanic reaction. This reaction contributes to generating a real potential difference, voltage, and current within the magnetic field of the system. This galvanic effect works alongside the electrostatic storage and helps to maintain a steady potential difference, further charging the internal capacitors. 4. MG Mesh Electrodes and Ionized Air Dielectric The internal capacitors are made of magnesium MG mesh electrodes with a small gap of air between them. This air is ionized by the high voltage field generated by the copper coil, which significantly enhances the dielectric properties of the air. As the dielectric constant of the air increases due to ionization, the capacitance of these internal capacitors increases, allowing them to store more energy. Bar 5. Cap Dump Outputs The energy stored in the capacitors is periodically released or dumped into the circuit, providing a burst of electrical energy. This is the cap dump output mentioned in the diagram. The enhanced capacitance due to ionized air allows for more substantial energy storage and, consequently, more powerful outputs when the stored energy is released. How it all comes together. The device begins by generating a high voltage through an electrostatic generator, depicted by the hand crank mechanism on the left. This high voltage is applied to the hybrid ion valves, which store the energy in the form of an electrostatic charge. The copper coils inside these valves help filter out unwanted frequencies and ionize the air around the MG mesh electrodes. The dissimilar metals create a small but constant potential difference, contributing to the overall energy generation process. The internal capacitors, with their enhanced capacitance due to the ionized air, store a significant amount of energy, which is then periodically released to produce a high power output. This system combines traditional electrostatic principles with innovative uses of ionization and materials science to create a power generating and storing device that capitalizes on high voltage and high frequency effects. The enhanced dielectric properties due to ionized air and the galvanic reactions of dissimilar metals make this setup potentially more efficient than conventional electrostatic generators.